Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about comparison of work done in reversible and irreversible expansion. In my previous video, I have already compared the work done in reversible and irreversible expansion mathematically. And in this video, we are going to compare the work done in reversible and irreversible reaction graphically as well. So let's start. We know that the reversible process happens infinitesimally slowly. That means in every step, the external pressure decreases slightly. On the other hand, irreversible processes are sudden. That means the pressure decreases suddenly. And mathematically, we prove that the work done in reversible process is greater than the work done in irreversible process. Let's prove that graphically as well. To compare the work done in different process, we need the PV diagram that is the pressure volume diagram of both the processes. Let's see that. We know that the PV diagram or PV curve of isothermal expansion is like this. Right? This is the PV diagram of isothermal expansion process. Here, this is A and its condition is P1, V1. This is the initial state and this is B which condition is P2, V2, this is the final state. Now, let's draw perpendicular line like this on the x-axis and y-axis, right? And here also let's join them. Now, this is A, B, C, D, E. Okay, this point is E. And uh, this is O, we know that. This is volume in the x-axis pressure in the y-axis right and here this is v1 from volume v2 right and here this is p1 and this is p2 yes this is the pv diagram okay pv diagram now let's consider let's consider isothermal reversible process first in isothermal reversible process first of all let's consider a small element like this this is a small element in isothermal reversible process let's consider this is a b and here it is c and d yes now we need to find out the work done by the gas in expansion from a to b that is in this small element we know that the reversible process happens infinitesimally slowly in infinite step this is one of the step okay now let me write little bit let us consider let us consider a p1 v1 and b p2 v2 to be to be the initial and and final state and final state a b c d is the small element small element in reversible process reversible process now we know that when the pressure decreases from p1 to p2 when the pressure decreases from p1 to p2 the volume decreases sorry volume increases from v1 to v2 that means as pressure decreases the volume should increase that is happening over here from a to b the change in pressure is dp and from b uh, from d to c the change in volume is tv these are the small change in pressure and volume we know that in every step the pressure decreases infinitesimally slightly right so the change in pressure from a to b will be obviously p1 minus dp right the pressure at this state will be p1 minus dp p1 is the initial pressure and in every step dp pressure is being changed so the work done the work done the work done in sorry from from 
small a to small b is work done from a to b can be given as dw is equal to how much p1 minus dp into dv we know that work done's formula is p into dv right but here the external pressure is p1 into dv as in each step the pressure decreases by dp now we know that in reversible process the change in pressure in two step is very low that means we can uh, we can neglect this value dp as as p1 minus dp is almost equal to p1 so dp can be neglected neglected and we get dw is equal to p1 into dv let us consider it to be equation number 1 and this is to be equation number 2 this is the work done from a to b but to find the work done from this capital a to capital b we need to add all such small elements from here to here right to get to get the total work done to get the total work done all such small elements all such small elements should be should be added all such small elements should be added now how do we add that Mathemic, mathematically to get the whole value we integrate the small work done from the volume v1 to v2 so integrating let me erase this portion to get the to get the total work done total work done by the gas by the gas integrating integrating equation number 2 equation number 2 in the limit in the limit v1 to v2 so it will be dw is equal to from v1 to v2 p1 into dv right so we get this much and p1 is over here so uh, p1 is over here and the corresponding volume is v1 and the gas is expanding till v2 against the pressure p1 only so all these area will be included all these area will be included so obviously the total work done the total work done in reversible process will be equal to area of region area of region a b c d so the work done in reversible process will be equal to the area of region a b c and d this is how the work done is equal to see this is the large area right so this is uh, our required answer in case of work done in reversible process now let's see the work done in irreversible process and let's compare which work done is greater for the irreversible expansion as well we are taking the same graph here this is the initial condition at a where pressure is p1 and volume is v1 and b is the final condition where pressure is p2 and volume is v2 but we know that in irreversible expansion the pressure decreases suddenly this is very fast process so pressure directly depends uh, sorry pressure directly decreases from p1 to p2 right so let me write that in irreversible in irreversible expansion expansion the pressure the pressure decreases suddenly suddenly from p1 to p2 that means if the pressure decreases from p1 to p2 the volume also increases suddenly from v1 to v2 right but we don't need to write that right now now as the pressure decreases suddenly then then the gas then the gas has to expand expand against the new pressure against the new pressure that is the final pressure p2 right 
the gas has to expand against the new pressure that is P2. Then, then the work done by the gas by the gas is given by work done is given by P2 into dV from volume V1 to V2. We are integrating this work done, small work done from volume V1 to V2 to get the total work done. As the gas expands from P1 to P2, that is, it, this process happens very suddenly. We know that. So, this is the new pressure now. This is the external pressure for the gas now. The gas has to expand against P2, right? And the volume suddenly increases from V1 to V2. Then, the total work done will be equal to P2, P2 is here. Then the total work done will be how much? From volume V1 to V2 against P2. That means this much of work done. If this was P1, then it would be from here to here. All the region would be included, right? But it is against P2. That means the volume expands from V1 to V2 and the pressure, external pressure is only P2. So this is the total region of work done by the gas okay so here it is you can see over here this is equal to the area area of how much b c d e b c d e so what do we see what do we see the work done by the gas in reversible process was equal to like it work done in reversible process was equal to area of a b c d right a b c d and Work done by irreversible gas is equal to area of B, C, D, E. I have given greater than sign over here just to show you that the area of region A, B, C, D is obviously greater than the area of region B, C, D, E. And this proves that work done in reversible process is greater than the work done in irreversible process as the area of region A, B, C, D is greater. So, Graphically also, we got the same conclusion. That means work done is not a state function. Let me write that. Work done, work done is not a state function. That is, it is a path dependent variable. Work done is not a state function. That is, it is a path dependent variable. That means the work done in reversible process is greater than the work done in irreversible process. So by mathematically or graphically, we get the same result. That's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about this. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.